going from a straight stitch to an overcast is nice and easy. Before we go and start, make sure you lower your presser foot, making sure that this is giving tension onto our top thread. As we go along in our HD3000, pushing your reverse button all the way in will lock for a stitch. Continue all the way down to the end and reverse. Always make sure your needle is in the highest swing position when taking your fabric out. Use your beautiful side cutter to cut that thread off, beautiful, ready to go. Now grab your C foot. Your C foot is your overcast foot. To take it off, push in the black button, which will drop your foot off. Using your next foot, line it up on the inside arch of your presser foot and gently lower the lever on top. Your C foot has two pins on it. This is going to enable the fabric to be nice and flat and not curl over as you're stitching. Line it up along the edge of the black guide. Now, change your stitch to number 18. The HD3000 has a beautiful seamless control of the dial. When we're doing our overcast stitch, use your recommendation guide at the top. This is going to tell you what your width setting should be and what your length setting should be. If your length setting is blanked out, remember two and a half is a standard stitch. When using your overcast C foot, always hand turn a couple of stitches so that the needle has gone over top of the pins to ensure it's not hitting. And then off we go. On the HD3000, this is a seamless finish because you're not going to have any of your raw edges curl over. Ensure your needle is up and take out your work. You have just made the seam of your garment. 